In this next video, we're going to look at some advanced techniques for the lumbar spine. I do have a previous video where I showed you some basic techniques for the lumbar, but now we're just going to use a variation um, of body parts. And what I mean is I'm going to use my knuckles and my forearm and my elbow. The medium I tend to use is a songbird uh, fascial wax, which is, I think, brilliant. We hardly need any of the medium, just enough so we cause like a, like a sheen to the skin, as you can see, yeah, so it's not shiny. And that would be enough there, so we finish them up. And what we're gonna do is get the patient just to slowly tilt. So she tilts anteriorly, which shortens the tissue. And then if I get my patient to reverse the movement, that's posterior tilt, now lengthens. You can see she's on a pillow because she has a little low doses here. So this is would be one technique. Now when I do this one, rather than, there's an old method called what we call the cam and spindle. But this one is very good because I have my arms straight. My thumb leads the technique. And I'm trying to open up my own chest here rather than being like this and leaning in and irritating my own back. I'm trying to, to work in a, in a relatively stable way for myself. Slowly tilt your pelvis. Take a breath in, please. And when you're ready, just slowly breathe out. Be careful on pressure. And as my patient breathes out, I'm gliding slowly up through the tissues here. My patient will go as far as she can. I will ease off. My patient breathes in, and as she breathes out, she reverse, yeah, so now she tilts again. So re reverse in the anterior tilt, so posterior tilt. And I only want to go as far as the curve starts to change in the thoracic spine. So this is mainly for lumbar, and you can ease into the pressure. That's it, good, and relax, take a breath in. And as I breathe out, she reverses and I'm slowly gliding through, nice and slow, working up through the tissues there. If you put too much pressure on, you will restrict the movement by the patient. So allow them to glide, but allow yourself to have enough pressure. But remember, ask the patient how it feels. If they want more pressure, let me know. If you want less pressure, let me know. Now the second technique, I tend to use a little bit on the forearm. So I'm just gonna, a little bit of medium onto this area here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop down Yes, we can adjust the height of the couch. I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna hold onto my wrist. My elbow is onto the spinous process, or just off it here. I don't want to be knocking those bones here, because it will be tender for the patient. From this position, I'm, I'm almost just like leaning. So my forearm is in contact with the, the, the quadrant of the spine here. Now, if you tilt again, please. Slowly breath in. And when you're ready, just slowly breathe out. And yes, I'm holding, but I'm just, as you rotate, off you go. I'm just gliding through. So the surface area is greater, but it doesn't mean the pressure is increased. From there, ease off, please. Take a breath in, and off you go again. So I'm just literally just gliding up through the tissues, and it works really well. However, some patients might want a little bit more pressure. How you do that, you wouldn't just lean. What you can do is, you can just change your angle, okay? So off you go again. So now I've changed my angle, so now it's slightly drifting towards my elbow. Is it okay? Good. And then ease off. Breathe in. I can control here and I can glide. But if I, I can just by rotating my hand, which is my forearm, I can change the contact of my electron on the lumbar spine here. I can also add, add a variation. Off you go again. So as, as you are rotating, Okay, I can just add in. It's almost like a windscreen wiper of a car. Okay, yes, you can do wider, but you can just rotate as you glide in through the tissues there. That's it. You can see my patient is just constantly just rotating, and I'm applying pressure as she's lengthening. Okay, and as I'm gliding up through the tissues, I can change what I do there. And these techniques work very, very well. You can also get the patient just to, to walk up and down on the spot. So we start here. So now this tissue is lengthened, this is shortened. The facets are shortened, as in close on the left and open on the right. And again, you can just work through when you're ready. So now she's walking the other way. So I'm just gonna try to work with the, the way the tissues are flowing as I'm gliding through that. And that works really well as well. And also come up and I can use my knuckles, come back up. No, no, relax. Uh, just side, no, no, side bend, please. That's it. Take a breath in and breathe out and side bend the other way, perfect so I can glide through. It's all about communication between you and the patient. 
Okay, once they understand what's going on, yeah, come back up again, breathe in and breathe out. Then it's a, it's a two-way process. Yeah, you have to guide what they do. But these techniques work very well. One, to open and close fast air joints, but also now to uh, focus on, on releasing the, the soft tissues to the, the lumbar spine.